guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a dual streaming setup. That way you have one PC you can game on that won't affect your stream, another PC for streaming entirely on itself. That way you have the best of both worlds for gaming and streaming. And I'm going to show you guys on how to set that up here today because there's two different methods. I did a video a while back on how to do one method. Today I show you the other method that I think is easy to set on up. And also, I think it's the best out of the two. So let's get right into it. So first thing I need is an internal capture card. So I would recommend grabbing an Elgato 4K Pro. This is just like the best internal capture card on the market and the one I particularly use. And you're gonna need an additional 16 buy slot on your motherboard. So just make sure on the motherboard that it's labeled is supports buy four, because what can happen is that you have a 16 by slot that supports buy one and not know it. So just make sure to check your motherboard manual, see the 16 by slot has buy four. And you wanna just unscrew the bracket in the back, pull it on out. And then you want to install your actual capture card into your system. I would recommend putting your PC on a desk on a flat surface on its side while you install it. it. Makes it easier. The next thing I need are two HDMI cables. So for the first HDMI cable, what you want to do is take one of the HDMI ends, plug into the in port of the actual capture card. Now you want to take this opposite end of this HDMI cable and plug it into the back of your GPU. Now with that second HDMI cable, what you want to do is plug one end into the out port on the actual capture card and take this other end and plug it into your monitor of choice you actually want to game on. Now that you've done that, you should see on your monitor, you have your streaming PC for one device. And on the other monitor here on my left here, I actually have my gaming PC all hooked up. So before you add the capture card in OBS, you will need to download the 4 capture utility. I will have a link to it down below. And once you're on this page here, all you want to do is download the 4K capture utility and install it onto your computer. Once you open up the software, you should see your display in here, which is awesome for OBS Studio. Now keep in mind, if you do want to actually set up 1080p 240 hertz with this actual device, you will need to mess with the settings. So what you're gonna do is just open the little gear icon here and just change the device settings to expanded color, internal mode and 1080p and then what will happen here on the top left it'll actually say 1080p 240 hertz now important thing to keep in mind i am on an hdmi switch right now and it's a weird set right now so it's not particularly the best to show you guys so for example here let me just switch back to my other computer with that you can actually see right here i now have 1080p 240 hertz because i've hooked up to a 1080p 240 hertz monitor with those settings so the next thing to do is add the capture card you just click on the little plus icon in your sources video capture devices. I would recommend naming this the 4K60. And then once you click OK, you'll see a little bit of devices listed. You just want to click on the 4K60. And once you click on it, you'll have the display for it, which is awesome. Now, an important thing to keep in mind, you will also have a new audio device too that will be called 4K60. Now, there is one more thing I would recommend doing on your gaming PC. I would recommend going back to Elgato's website and actually going to the downloads area, which I will have a link to this down below. And then what you want to do is select legacy products and click on their HD60 because they actually have a software for the game capture that comes with an audio mixer with it too. And you will just install this on your computer. Once you install it on your computer, you should see a few new things like a game capture, but on the top, you should also see a sound capture. And you want to take full advantage of the sound capture by opening on up. And you want to go to the advanced mode and you can actually select what devices you want your audio going out to. So you can see this is for our capture card here, which is the NVIDIA high definition audio. So we're going to send this to our capture card, which is of course going to get captured in OBS. Yes. But the cool thing about this actual software is that if you want to add another device for actually listening to the audio, you can actually really plug some headphones in the back of your monitor. So I'm going to do this, for example, for the time being. So you can see now that I plugged in my Bose headset into my monitor, you can actually see my headphones are right here. So you can enable your audio to your capture card, but also to your headphones. And this is especially the case if you actually have a wireless headphone to connect this via Bluetooth, you'll have a third device to connect to. So the sound capture software is OP for actually setting up audio on your gaming PC. So you might be wondering now, what do I do for my microphone for my actual game? gaming PC. Can I share my microphone between my streaming PC? You can actually do that. In the method I did in my previous video, I went over a way of doing so, but I would recommend just using your headphones. Usually most times around, if you buy headphones, they'll have a microphone that comes with it. And if that works, do that. And if it doesn't, just buy a $20 microphone. I found one on his Amazon. That's pretty good. Uh, and you can just do that instead. I would just recommend $20 mic and then just like a nice microphone for your actual stream PC. So that's how to set up a dual PC setup with an internal capture. If you guys did find this video helpful, Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to some of future content. Be very much appreciated. We're trying to hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So, if you want to help us hit that goal, that'd be awesome. I'll see you for the one tech rant out.